The so-called Kerbal Space Program Killer, Kitten Space Agency, has seen some further development these past few weeks. And in this video I will show some of the amazing progress. We'll start with what can be considered the biggest news. Rocketworks, the developers of KSA, hired some new people. They hired someone called Zach, who has a PhD in mathematics. They hope to make use of his mathematical insights, which is of course very relevant in a game like KSA. Upon his new hire, Dean Hall, the CEO of Rocketworks, said this. I hope his role is the first of many pure science roles the company gets placements for. Additionally, they hired someone called Stefan. Stefan? Stefan? I don't know. Uh, who has a 12 year background as a senior flight software engineer at SpaceX. So Stefan knows his stuff. He's already helping with layering additional simulations on top of the orbital simulations. So things like objects, meaning rockets I assume. Again, Dean Hall said that Stefan is just one of likely many new hires that they intend to have work on the project. Now in the background you'll have seen some of the progress that they have made on terrain generation so far. Which is already looking great, but Blackrack, the king of clouds, has also been hard at work these last few weeks. Dean Hall said that the progress made by Blackrack is excellent and says that his work is part of one of their core pillars. Wonder. And I have to agree. It is the whole reason why I at least like space. The unknown and amazing things we can gaze upon. I mean, just look at these clouds. They're really realistic. So, I mean, Blackrack, chef's kisses. Now, this is just one type of cloud, but of course, more is coming. Additionally, these are some screenshots of Titan's atmosphere, a moon of Saturn, in the KSA game. Blackrack said that he has around 850 FPS around this moon with an RTX 2080 at 1440p. So when the early access build comes out, I will test the game on my old 1050 Ti. Um, I say this as if I have another GPU lying around, but I don't. I just have a 1050 Ti. But more on early access in a bit. Uh, JPL Repo, on the other hand, another Kerbal Space Program modder, has been hard at work. They have been working on the on the patch conic system for the game. The patch conic is a way of simplifying simulations in a n-body system. Because technically, when you're orbiting the Earth, for example, you'll also experience a gravitational pull from the Moon. This makes orbital trajectories much more complicated. So the solution that Patched Connex offers is assigning each body a sphere of influence. If you are within that sphere, you'll only experience the gravitational pull from that body. They state that they are kind of holding back on developing part architecture uh, until their Kepler system, their orbital simulation system, is fully fleshed out. Dean Hall said to post a video on the progress soon, hopefully. Finally, he also said that they are exploring ways to get early builds of the game out to modders soon, before it even has a game loop, just so that they can get feedback from the modders on the behind the scenes structure of the game. And when it comes to releasing a version to the public, that will be when we are able to launch rockets and such. This will likely take at least a few more months, but in the meantime we'll be able to see all the progress that they are making as they have been very transparent so far, which is really refreshing. So. If you want to be kept up to date with all the latest Kitten Space Agency news, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my future uploads. Now lately I've not been as active on the channel, but with this case A project coming along, I feel like making more videos around this subject. So for now, have a great rest of your day and enjoy your holiday break and until next time.